It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. Pancreatitis in dogs, signs, causes, and what to do. Pancreatitis means inflammation of the pancreas. The pancreas is a vital organ that regulates digestion and blood sugar in the body. Located near the stomach in all animals, the pancreas produces enzymes that help the body digest and absorb nutrients. It also produces insulin, the hormone that regulates glucose. If a dog develops pancreatitis, these systems may be disrupted. 1. What causes pancreatitis in dogs? Normally, the enzymes produced by the pancreas are inactive and only activate to begin digestion once they reach the small intestine. If a dog has pancreatitis, the enzymes are activated before reaching the small intestine and begin to digest the pancreas, causing pain, discomfort, and other symptoms. A high-fat diet is believed to be a contributing factor to pancreatitis in dogs. Miniature schnauzers develop pancreatitis more frequently than other dog breeds, suggesting a genetic factor. Recurrent episodes of pancreatitis develop into chronic pancreatitis, meaning the inflammation persists for a long period of time. 2. Signs of pancreatitis in dogs. Most often, signs range from lack of energy and decreased appetite to symptoms affecting the gastrointestinal tract, such as nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, diarrhea, sometimes with obvious blood, dehydration, and fever. In more severe cases, difficulty breathing, collapse, life-threatening shock, or death may occur. 3. How is pancreatitis diagnosed? Determining whether a dog has pancreatitis is based on symptoms, blood tests, and sometimes abdominal x-rays and or ultrasound. There is also a test that evaluates an enzyme produced by the pancreas called canine pancreatic lipase, and when it is elevated, it indicates pancreatitis. Your dog's diet, medication, and symptom history, along with test results, help diagnose pancreatitis. 4. Treatment for dogs with pancreatitis. The management and treatment of pancreatitis depends on early diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Treatment focuses on turning off the production of enzymes by the pancreas. This allows the pancreas to rest and heal. Dogs diagnosed with moderate to severe pancreatitis should be hospitalized and cared for back to health. Your vet will treat by withholding food and water orally and support hydration and electrolytes by administering fluids intravenously. Other medications will be given by injection to control pain, nausea, diarrhea, infection, and inflammation. 5. Prevention of pancreatitis in dogs. Pancreatitis can come back, talk to your vet about what you can do to help prevent a recurrence. The cause of pancreatitis in dogs is often unknown, so prevention remains a challenge. If your vet thinks it might be a medication, he can change it or stop it. It may be helpful to avoid high-fat foods and switch to a low-fat diet. Annual health and wellness exams are still important to monitor your dog's health, especially if he or she has previously been diagnosed with pancreatitis. Closely monitor your dog's behavior in daily activity and keep a diary of any changes such as decreased appetite, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, changes in breathing, decreased activity, or sleeping more than usual. 6. Potential problems with chronic pancreatitis. A damaged pancreas can cause decreased production of digestive enzymes, leading to improper digestion of food, also known as exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Having a damaged pancreas also increases a dog's risk of developing diabetes mellitus due to decreased production of the hormone insulin. There are different treatment options available depending on the severity and your dog's ability to regulate their blood sugar level. When to contact a veterinarian. Have you noticed mild signs such as decreased appetite, vomiting, diarrhea? Or is your dog less active, in pain, panting, and possibly running a fever? Any of these signs, from mild to severe, indicate that you should make an appointment with your veterinarian. The sooner your veterinarian determines the cause of your dog's illness, the sooner he or she can feel better with proper treatment. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.